Good morning, folks. We've got solar eruptions aimed at Earth, a big earthquake, some eye candy, and excellent articles to close. But we are starting with our star, and we find that this morning there have been several eruptive events at the Earth-facing active region, the large sunspots on the north. The activity is continuing even as we come to you this morning, so more eruptions are likely today. The flaring is not tremendous, barely cracking up into M-class range, but they are enough to be pushing plasma quite effectively within the coronal region. Gorgeous flashing from the larger leading sunspot group here, and impressively violent plasma activity we can see in 304 angstroms as well. We will need to wait for satellites to update to know if any significant CMEs were released, and we'll have eyes on that and on the sunspots, which finally morphed into a flare-making group with the distending and extra umbral cores developed. While we wait for satellites to update, we had a big earthquake strike the Tonga region in the southwest Pacific, originally rang in at 7.5, downgraded to 7.1, and then re-upgraded to 7.3. It was the surface realization of the larger blot echoes that struck deep in the area two days earlier, Pacific Tsunami Warning Center says small tsunamis are possible in the coming hour, so eyes on that region as well. For now, let's get some eye candy from ESO as we zoom in on the Cone Nebula. Beautiful imagery here with a new look at the close-in region of the star-forming factory. This is from the ESO's VLT station. Good article here reconfirming the tie between volcanic events and Dansgaard Oeschger events. As with all studies pre Holocene, the dating is challenging, but the simple correlation between the rapid climate shifts and volcanoes is always welcome. Up next, we've got one deflating and unpopular but still existing doubt on magneto reception. The higher detail and confirmation of magnetic sense in animals also reminds us of the struggle they will face during the ongoing geomagnetic excursion, and in a similar vein. How about electroreception in bees? This article is about fertilizers disrupting those signals from plants, which is one of the subtly sinister ways humans are messing with the planet, but it also has play in the electrodynamics of Earth in the ongoing electromagnetic shift as well. From the bottom to the top of the food chain, nothing will be unaffected by the ongoing changes. We greatly appreciate your support. Learn more at the links below the video eyes on the solar eruptions, subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear, be safe everyone.